Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick tour of your new Chromebook. So the first thing here I want to point out is the power button, which is up here in the top right hand corner. If your Chromebook is all the way powered off, that button will turn it on. You'll notice that the boot up takes about 8 seconds from start to finish before you'll be brought to your login screen. If you've logged in previously, it should be ready for you to enter in your password and to get started. I'm going to just close this up for a moment. When I do that, that puts the Chromebook to sleep, which will save battery life, and it also logs you out of the device. And I want to point out here on the back, you can see that this is where the power cord plugs in. Some people do make the mistake of plugging it in over here, which is actually the headphone jack. You'll want to remember to bring some headphones with you to class each day. There is a spot over here on the side as well for an SD card if you need additional storage. And then there are two USB ports here on the back as well if you have a thumb drive or a mouse that you would like to attach. So I'm just going to open this back up now. You'll see that waking up from sleep only takes a few seconds. And now I'm ready to log in. When you log in, the Chrome browser will open right up and it's going to take you to the Marysville website, which should be convenient for getting you to various sites like Moodle, which is here under the parent student link. I also want to point out down here on the left hand side that the cap locks key has been replaced with a search key. So one thing that you can do at any point when you're using your Chromebook is click on the search key, start your search, for instance, New York and hit enter and it'll open up a new Chrome tab and start your search for New York. Another thing I want to point out is that this trackpad is a multi-touch trackpad so you'll notice there are no buttons on here so if I want to scroll up and down the page I can do that with two fingers like this. Also since there's no right click button if I want to open the right click menu I double tap on the menu just a soft tap I don't actually have to make it click and then that will open up the right click menu options. Another thing that will happen when you click on the search bar is that we will bring up any apps that you have installed from the Chrome web store. So some of the apps that you'll be using quite frequently are things like Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Drive. I'll just click on Google Drive for a second to show you. This is an inbox of all of the different documents that you might be creating using your Chromebook some of the types of documents that you can create are a Word document for composing, a presentation which is like a PowerPoint, forms and spreadsheets which are a way of doing surveys and quizzes. There's also a drawing tool and then there are some different uh, Google Drive apps that can be installed as well. I'm just going to close that now. If I click on that search key I can go to the Chrome store and here I can find different web apps and extensions that will add functions to my device. For instance, I can type in Edmodo and it will take me to the App Store for downloading the Edmodo app for Chrome. So that's a quick tour of your Chromebook and some of the features on it. The final thing I'll point out is up here along the top row of keys there are some fast buttons this back and forth button for going back and forth on a web page a refresh key a full screen key this key will take you between different windows that you have open I can also change the screen brightness if you need to save battery life you might dim the screen a little bit and then my volume buttons